guys, it is Speakum Floyd Fan here. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a YouTube th a YouTube thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Um, and what this does, it basically shows the uh, as you check on your YouTube videos, um, it shows a picture in which you click, and that's what's gonna. That's what we're gonna make. So uh, I am on a Mac. That's okay. You can. This also works on a Windows because it's just Photoshop. Uh, this is Photoshop CS6. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click create a new. Uh, a new composition or a new preset. Name it uh, whatever you want. I'm just name it YouTube. The preset is just custom, and make sure the width is 20, 1280 by 720. The height is 720. The width is in pixels. Make sure it's in pixels. Uh, just leave everything at default RGB color, and the background contents white. And just leave the advance off, and press OK. And you should end up like this. Um, ignore this. I just have it there just to make it more organized I guess and um, so um, the first thing you want to do is you want to um, make a um, get a uh, what do you call it let's see so you want to insert a picture that will go into your background and so I have it in my uh, let's see I just downloaded a YouTube thumbnail oops wrong one I mean a uh, texture pack for Photoshop and uh, I believe it's in downloads. Yep, here it is. Texture pack by Stinks. Go ahead and search his channel. Uh, that's where I download it. So shout out to him. And I go to the textures, and here it will give me a list of all the texture packs. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you um, this one. In this case, click place. All you gotta do is click shift. Um, if you don't hold down shift while you dragging, it'll go all like this, and you don't want to do that. So, uh, and just hold down shift and make it bigger so just drag it uh, to the corner like just like that and then now you can just start uh, moving it to fit the picture or the frame and click OK and after you've done this you want to make a text uh, of what your video is going to be about so in this case this is name it YouTube thumbnail you want to make the text a bit bigger but in this case I'm going to just make a um, just um, the text and then I can make it bigger when you've selected the video or the <laughs> the text um, it's an I like to make it in order so I'm um, just drag YouTube on top of the thumbnail this doesn't affect it in any way but it just makes it more organized once you've clicked um, this it should be highlighted just click command T or, or control T on the Windows and command T on uh, Mac and hold down um, shift again so just hold down shift, make it nice and big enough, just like that, and press OK. And the thumbnail also, Command T or Control T, make it big too. So just like that. And then click this check mark, or just click Command D to deselect. And after you've done this, um, what you're basically going to do is you're going to click, um, make sure you are selected on any text you have created, and click Command A or Control A and it's going to select um, the whole thing. Now you're going to click this and it will um, uh, let's see, it will basically align your text in the middle or whatever um, in this case you want it to be like that, like this. Um, it works in any way. I like to have it in the bottom so let's go back. So let's go here and you want to select this to make it in the middle. Click YouTube and do the same thing if you want it right in the middle, and it will um, make it aligned right to the exact. Now, once you've done this, um, to make the text look better, all you gotta do is just double click on this highlighted area anywhere that's not this, because then uh, it's gonna make it really nasty. Um, whoops, just undo that. You wanna just double click on an empty area, and then all you gotta do is click stroke. Now, stroke will make it more visible for viewers who click your video. Because without it, it's just going to look like, like that, and it doesn't really pop out a lot. You can change this, the size, but adding more just makes it look ugly. So, I mean, 3 is about enough. And also do it on your thumbnail, too. The thumbnail text, or your other text you've created. So click Stroke, make sure it's checked. And click on that. It should be 3 pixels, or whatever you want it. But I just made it like this. And um, this is just a simple way of doing it. Um, to add, uh, let's see, to add a YouTube, um, logo or other thing, 
um, as a PNG, so it does it's um, nice and clear like the text is. Um, I'll be showing you that. I'm gonna get I'm gonna download the YouTube logo first, so I'll come back right now. As I am back, I have now finally downloaded the image and I have imported it, and I have the YouTube picture uh, layer above the uh, texture uh, texture layer. And um, to make a the YouTube or the text, the text um, much better looking, just basically double click this um, on, an, on the empty area where I just did, and just click. You can select a lot of things. You can do gradient, which is by far the best, and select a color. So I'm gonna do that right now, and I'm gonna match it with the red uh, YouTube uh, color. So just click on this to actually match the color of the picture or logo whatever you're doing and you can just customize all of this but in this case I'm just speed it up and click OK and um, press OK now to make this exactly the same on this you basically I'm gonna right click and click uh, copy layer style and this will copy the layer style from this text to the thumbnail or the other text you made so click paste and it will look exactly like that um, you can do a lot of things with this. Um, I suggest to, um, you know, check other YouTubers, but most of them don't do a good job at them. They really aren't good at it or just tend to do really bad at making thumbnails. But this is just a simple way of making it. And I'll see you in my next video. Leave a like, comment below, and I'll see you later. Peace.